Please, mother, I need to talk to you. Why do you hate me so much? Yes. Since my mother died, you always treat me with so much hate. I don't know what transpired between you and my late mom, but I think bygone should be bygone. Why do you hate me so much? We should be living like one big happy family. I don't know what you find as well. Maybe. Yes. If it would interest you. I want my son to ascend the throne of his father. It may interest you. And you are the one blocking it not to happen. You are the hindrance. I reason why I hate you so much. I hate you with so much disdain. So it's about the throne. It has always been about the throne. Mm -hmm. Now you know. Will you let Ezekiel ascend his father's throne? Gini kana so, gini kane ke. Aye, this world na vanity. Let go of the strife, fighting no day pay. You are the effrontery to molest the children who came to visit me? How dare you? At least ask me what happened, father. Can't see. He insulted my royalty. Maybe he walked up to me without greeting. That's an insult. So why? I had to punish him accordingly. No, not so much, but I think that a little bit though. You are a big fool. You are of all men most miserable. And every time I set my eyes on you, I regret the fact that I am your father. Oh, would you shut up? Shut up and don't even say a word. You are the reason this boy is like this. You are the reason. And listen, for your information, you have to go and publicly apologize to Ichio Kando, otherwise I can assure you that you will be punished according to the laws of this land. I have spoken. Get out of my sight! Get out! Good day, my friend. So, how are you? Uh, well, 
I, I wouldn't say that I am fine uh, because uh, my daughter, uh, Dubem, mm. had an accident yesterday. Yes, and um, uh, is a question who brought her home. Well, my, my prince, from the look of things, I suspect that. Uh, that accident was orchestrated by Ezekiel. No, 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 no. No, don't go there. Yeah. My baby brother cannot even hurt a fly. Uh -uh. Oh, my prince. You see why I like you? Eh? You are an epitome of royalty. Eh? Always defending the weak. Eh, but my prince, eh, I, I don't have your number. If I had it, I would have called you yesterday to tell you that my daughter had an accident down there. She dislocated her ankle. All right, um, sorry about what happened to your daughter. I'm hurrying up for a meeting, but I'll come see your daughter maybe tomorrow. You will come? Yes, I'll come. Oh, thank you. I will tell her that you come. Eh? All right, Tony. Uh, uh, thank you. Oh, oh, Lord, thank you. oh no. <laughs> That's great. Uh, my prince, I suggest you do as your father has commanded for my sake, please. What do you mean by for your sake, please? I'm trying to get something straight. You, you know your mother, the queen, already sees me as a bad influence. If you don't do it, she will feel I'm the one influencing you wrongly. That's a question. My king. Father. Have you done what I ask you to do? You mean to apologize? Oh, yes. Come on, Father. That shit is rated 16. I don't do rated 16 stuff. So I do rated 18, 20, and above. So I don't see myself doing that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I the fragrance of your arrogance is so daring. You look me in the eyes to tell me you will not do that which I have commanded you to do? Listen to me, son. Do not blame me for whatever that will happen to you after the expiration of the time I give to you to apologize to a chill candle. My, my prince, my prince, pride the sake comes before the fall. Please yield to your father's advice. Now you are you are carrying walking stick like me, as if you, you are a palace chief. Look at that boy. That boy is a fool. Look, don't associate with him. Don't. He's a lion in sheep's clothing. Just look at it. How am I sure that he's not the one that inflicted this pain on you? Hmm. No, no, no. How? That boy is capable of doing anything, and he calls himself a prince. Nam. It is obvious you don't like him. That's why you accuse him for everything. Well, the answer to your question is no. Ezekwesiri did not do this to me. Ezekwesiri did not do this to me. In fact, he has been a perfect gentleman on few occasions I have met him. And in him, I see a humble lamb instead of the roaring lion that you all see. Perfect what? Gentleman. A humble kid. Papa humble lamb. That boy is a question. A humble? A perfect? I think something is wrong with you. That boy is a lion. He's a li if I li be careful, oh. the gentle stride of a lion does not connote stupidity. He's a green snake in the green grass. Hmm. I'm telling you, don't associate with him again. Look, my daughter. I will advise you to associate with a perfect gentleman like um, Prince Ihejika. Hmm? Take that advice. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, no, that's good. That's one. Prince will come and apologize to you just as the king ordered him to. Well, <clears throat> I never expected that that rude, arrogant boy would come and ask me for forgiveness. I never. Papa, he should come home. He better comes. And when he does, Papa, make sure you make him kneel and apologize to you. Let him kneel. Um, yeah, I greet you. I Did the king send for me? Yes. No, no, the king did not send me. It's, uh, it's, uh, as a question. It's as a question. Uh, he gave us a message to give you. I knew it. What kind of message? He's, he, he sent them to do his work. And it's the message. <laughs> the message. Hey! Hey! I mean, Prince Inejika. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's gentle, kind, and all of that, but there's something about him. There's something about him that I can't really figure out. I've tried to wrap my head around it, but it's not just working. Chukudu, I can understand. You know, time, time can make you forget certain memories. That thing that you cannot figure out is the good memories of two of you when growing up. So I, I can understand. Look, don't worry. He's a perfect gentleman. By the time you see him, you will understand what I'm saying. Hmm? Hmm? Eh, just relax. Papa, hmm. how are you being sure of all of this? Because... Forget it. Ah, I should forget what? Wait, it's nothing. It's nothing. Oh, but to bless you. Ah, Mama, no. Hi. Right. Thank you, my daughter. How is the leg? Mm. Mm. The pain is still there. So how was market today? Mm. Market was good, but things are very expensive, my dear. Mm? As for your leg, mm? <laughs> I believe by tomorrow morning. The things we produce. Oh, don't want. Hmm? Thank you, Mama. my husband. Where's my How are you? Oh, I thought I was invisible. Oh, wow. <laughs> you came, you were concentrating on our beautiful daughter. Uh -huh. eh? From there, you are talking of the leg that uh, one, some boy useless boy who, who calls himself a prince wanted to break. Wait, so, so, oh, but you yeah, 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 yeah. So, ah. are you jealous? Is it jealous your words? Of course he's eh? jealous. Yeah, look what I got here, Kwenka. Okay, how is your own leg? <laughs> Are you sick? <laughs> your Majesty, I know my son is a question can be rascally. And sometimes very unreasonable. But him hurting the jail candle like this? After you pronounced your punishment on him, if he does not apologize? No, I don't believe it. Are you then insinuating that Ichio Kando is lying? So is that what you are insinuating? Maybe he's lying. Because no one can attest to this, apart from him and his son Chinonso. Then what about uh, uh, the guards that he sent to my house? Interrogate them and they will say the truth. I swear on the throne that I will never forgive your son if I find out that he actually assaulted it, Chokando. This is a promise. May the gods help you that none of you here is among the people that Princess Zekwisri sent to attack Ichokando. Because I am going to skin you alive. Ichokando. Your Majesty. Can you identify the fools? You bring your face here. How will you look up this minute? 
Your Majesty. My friend, none of them here was among those that came to my house to attack my son and I. Have you seen it? You're not. Have you seen it? He did that to tarnish the image of my good son. He didn't do anything. As far as I am concerned, that son of yours is a scallywag. He is a recalcitrant idiot. That is what he is. Now listen to me. Tell your son that this matter is not over yet because I am going to get to the root of it. Ah, uh Oga, -uh. you don't need to worry. No, 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 that, that one no fit possible, sir. Like this now, eh? we are invisible. Calm down. You know, we are invisible. No worry, no trace. Okay. Okay, boss. All right, all right. No, no, no worry yourself. No worry yourself. Okay. Now, my God, the coconut, we say, we got to pipe low. According to him, I say, Igwe and that uh, Ichie Okando, they are looking for us. They go palace, come the uh, sack, they find the people who can do it. Like this, now, the latest developments. Brother, you are never ever alone. You need to, like, what you just said, like, for us to observe like all first time. Even when I don't And then, in terms of the other, we just do it. Like, she didn't have to enter my mother this night. You know, say, for that last job, you know, say, but Wake never pay us. Wake never pay for that last matter. You say, until next. You know, that's how I want to do it. I will just run and turn around. Mm. You package it there, man. Hey, we are going package our manka. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. <laughs> For this video, we should have I swear. I'm going to go here on this night. How can your father tell me to stop coming to see you? Moabu Prince, Ezekwesiri. Onye meme one of umuchu. Huh? After I have fallen in love. How is that even possible? My friends, I don't know what you're talking about. What has you falling in love got to do with me? You really want me to stop coming to see you? It's my father's decision. I have to respect it. So, can you come to the palace to visit me? You want me to come see you at the palace? Yeah. I want you to come. Visit me anytime you come. Okay, I'll try. I have to leave now before my father starts looking for me. Even when you blow hot, even when I blow hot, understand I move ahead. It's just a hug. When your daughter comes back, tell her I was here. Mm. Okay. And if possible, let her see me at the palace tomorrow. Ha, my prince, 
It is not a question of if possible. I will tell her to come. As a matter of fact, I will make sure she comes. Eh? Thank you very much, Anoro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I heard you broke your ankle, so how are you feeling? I'm getting better, thank you. I would love you to visit me at the palace tomorrow. I have something very important I want us to talk about. Uh, my prince, she will come. She's not doing anything tomorrow. I'll make sure she comes. Eh? She will come. Thank you, Olu. Thank you, my friends. Kini kaneke, I this world na vanity. Let go of the strife, fighting no day pay. I this world na vanity. Kini kana so, kini kaneke. I this world na vanity. Let go of the strife. Fighting no day pay. I hate this world in vanity. Created to be different. You and I are blood, brother. You and I are never ever the same. Oh, Ofunanamu, mano fuchianareke. Brother, you and I are never ever the same. Oh. Even when you blow hot, ah. even when I blow cold, ah. understand I move ahead. Oh. Prince, ah. as a person, it's not like a time bomb that was put. You never can tell me, Prince. Prince, as a person, like phone, phone, how? I don't get it. The phone that I'm not seeing, your father is not seeing, your mother is not seeing. I don't get that. Phone, how? And that's just stop it. So what's that? Eh? What I want is you and all my parents can be fit our life. Me, I remember that I am glad with them. And that simply means that I am not a kid. I can make my decision. I have seen life, I know what is good for me. So don't tell me how to live my life. Nobody is trying to do it. Your happiness means a lot to us. I don't want to see you get it out from Princess Emerson. Given his record and his temperament. That's not what you need now, my dear friend. You don't need that. Yes. I think for what I need now is true. You must be the kind of cash. He also has been your friend. He's a better option. I can't remember telling you I was going to get any of your friends. Did I? Fine. It's obvious to get some blood to me. But I didn't say I was going to give you. Neither am I being moved by a medical student. So, she's going to be with you then. She still loves you and wants you back. I never said to you. Just like that. My dear, what is wrong with you? Why are you doing it? I said I'm fine. Give me a letter. She said that you make money. She said that you make money. She said that you make money. Are you trying to tell me that Chidu Ben walked out on me this afternoon because of that arrogant prince Ezekwesiri? Is that what you are trying to tell me? That prince that almost killed me and my father? Me, Ezekwesiri, attacked you and your father. I also seen the bandage on my head. 
That guy is a beast, and that is who Jinube wants to leave me for. As much as she tries to deny it, but it's pure obvious. That's the reason. Even her father is against her. He wants her to look up with her. Her face, 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 she should better know that I will not accept that. I won't! So you have to come down. Please come down. Give yourself together. Maybe you should just try and talk to her. I believe she will listen to you. Just try and talk to her. You don't have to get yourself Just come down. Even when you blow hot. Even when I blow cold. But she better know that anything stupid. I'm asking you. I know whose daughter is not the one better than me, right? That you not bring her to the palace. Must you always disrespect me? All because we used to do GBIAC. Hmm? You don't have to go that lane with me. You know, right? So, Jiliak is not the word. Oh, Jiliak is the Please, word. get your hands off me. Get off my way. I just want to pass. I understand that you feel nothing for me anymore. Hey. I'm still talking to you. Why are you doing this to me? Wow. Fine. I will do all my possible best to get anything that has to do with you off my mind. I just want to tell you the worth of this jacket you just touched. This jacket is worth 3,000 pounds. That's a whooping amount, right? Show some respect. Get off my way. Get the hell out of my way, man. I hate you. My name is Zach Orji, and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is Yo, Yo Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Reaching Nolly TV.